I'm Bishop Gregory Parks. Welcome back to Take 5, a weekly conversation on faith and life. We are very blessed today to have with us Dale Brown. Dale is the director of the Lay Pastoral Ministry Institute for the Diocese of St. Petersburg, as well as coordinator of our Black Catholic ministry here in our diocese. And uh, Dale, you have served the diocese in ministry now for 20 years. Yes, thank you. Thank That's you for having me. Wonderful. For, for today well, th- <laughs> and inviting me. Thank you. Well, thank you for your ministry. And mm-hmm. wanted to speak with you today. We are in the month of February mm-hmm. and February is traditionally a month here in our country where we celebrate Black History Month. Correct. Um, why do we do that? Why is it important to celebrate this month and to remember our, our history with regard to, to Black, to African Americans? I think a big part of our history, not only as Black people in the country, but for everybody in our country was missing because we just weren't getting that information in our school systems and, and in our educational systems. And so this opportunity was put in place to make a concerted effort to teach more about the history of this community uh, in this country. And there's so much richness um, about it. Yeah, that's well said. And I, and I think uh, for each of us, if we're going to understand who we are <laughs> today, yes. we have to understand our history Absolutely. and where we came from, yes. uh, both as a country mm-hmm. as well as as individuals and families. Yes. Uh, here in the Diocese of St. Petersburg, we have a, quite a long history yes. of um, mm-hmm. serving uh, in education and, and ministry the, the black community here uh, in our diocese. Could you talk a little bit about St. Peter Claver Catholic School? Sure. Uh, when it was established yes. and what their mission has been. Yes. St. Peter Claver was established back in the 1890s, early 1890s. And again, it was an opportunity to focus on, make a concerted effort to educate uh, young people, young African-American black people, uh, children in our community. That wasn't necessarily being done within the Catholic Church. Um, and so the Sisters of St. Joseph were a part of that, establishing the school, and um, you know there was some resistance. Mm. There was resistance to having white nuns teach black kids. And, and so there was some strife and, and struggle. I mean, the first facility was burned mm. down, and so it had to rebuild. But the community continued, and it persevered with this very important mission of educating our children within the Catholic faith. Uh, so spreading the faith, spreading the culture of, of Catholicism within the African Americans, which were a long part of the history of Catholics in this church. Um, often we don't necessarily see that unless you're in community, um, but a very deep history of African Americans in this country and the Catholic faith. Yeah, I've had the opportunity to, to of course, visit St. Peter Claver School to mm-hmm. celebrate Mass with the community there. Yes. Uh, they recently celebrated their 125th anniversary. Correct. And if I remember, probably 90 to 95 percent of the students there are mm-hmm. not Catholic. Correct. But we continue to offer a good mm-hmm. quality faith-based education, yes. not because they're a Catholic, but because, because we are. We are. And exactly. that's part of mm-hmm. our mission as yes. a church and always mm-hmm. has been. Um you know, uh, unfortunately or reg- regrettably here in our community, here in our country, um, you know, we still see instances of racial inequality mm-hmm. and yes. violence, and uh, we see that almost daily, yes. weekly on the news. Mm-hmm. So it's still a reality. Um, what can we do as a local church, as a diocese, as a country uh, to help to heal that and to try to move forward? Yes. I think we have to really be concerned about the care of others is one of the major things. And it's easy to kind of dismiss these incidents and things that happen and wonder what that person did wrong to deserve it, or they had it coming. We, we you know, tend to look at things from that perspective. But we really need to look at caring for others. And what we can do as a community is to continue to be open to the stories of others, to continue to be open to the conditions of others, and, and looking at where we can help really be a part of that. We will have just celebrated the first um, first Sunday in February has traditionally been celebrated as the day of prayer for the African and African American family. And so we had that observance and we will have in a couple of weeks um, an activity at St. Peter Claver Parish to recognize Black History Month. Our focus this year will be on the family. Uh-huh. and sharing that history and knowing our family history. And so that's going to be our focus, getting that story out. We have to know our history and can't expect other people to tell it for us. We no. have to know it. 
again, very well said. And it has been said that those who fail to learn history mm -hmm. are destined to repeat it. Exactly. So I hope Black History Month is for us a, an opportunity to continue to learn yes. that history mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and to hopefully heal and move forward yes. uh, in peace and justice and with respect for all people. Absolutely. Dale, thank you for being with us thank today. You, and, and thank you for your ministry here in the diocese. Oh, uh, you're such a blessing to us. Thank and you. I just ask God's continued blessings upon you. Thank you very much. That's it this week for Take 5. May God bless you. Amen.